Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm checking out a new product from Speedybee. So Speedybee is a partner of Runcam and this is their 30x30 30 30 VTX DVR combo board. Now it's not a product for everyone. It is a product for users who aren't too fussed in having HD GoPro footage and instead it takes the video feed from your FPV camera and records it to a micro SD card in a standard definition format. So that's 640 by 480 at 25 frames per second for PAL sources and 30 frames per second for NTSC sources and as you can see it is just a single board here very similar to the HL RC solution and there's some things to note about it actually so yeah it's a switching VTX from 25 milliwatt to 600 milliwatt however out of the box it has come locked to 25 milliwatt and I think that is just because of all of these scares that are coming about regarding fines to companies that are releasing VTXs with a higher output and also more channels than are legal. However, we've got a couple of buttons on here and if you long press the button for the VTX, then it will unlock it after 10 seconds. But there's something to note about that because this is also using the tramp protocol so you can control it from beta flight on screen display however if you've got it hooked up to the tramp protocol then the button for the VTX stops working so if you want to unlock this then you have to make sure that it's not connected to the flight controller and that's how you unlock it otherwise it's completely locked to 25 milliwatt but yeah it is a pretty simple board. It's using a MMCX connector, which I like. It's also got a built-in microphone, which is good because a lot of these micro cameras don't have a microphone, so I'll be interested to see how that performs. And we have another button on here as well, and that is for controlling the DVR, but it is very simple. So it auto records as soon as the battery is plugged in and then it is a single press to stop the recording and then a long press of that will format the micro SD card so be very careful when using that you know you don't want to lose your footage and it is using a JST connector for all of the connections to your copter but we do have some individual pads on here as well. So you can see we've got 5 volt out, the ground, the video in, and then it's actually marked as the IRC tramp on here. And it looks like we have got another ground pad and then the input is 7 to 26 volts. We've got a little sticker on here that's got speedy B written on it and that's where your micro SD card goes in. So yeah, fairly simple product let's see what else we get in the package so you actually get a manual with this here and it's actually showing you what is locked when it comes to the channels and there's some led indicators on there if you don't want to hook up the tramp protocol but i would strongly recommend that you do just make sure that you unlock it if you're after more than 25 milliwatts there but yeah nice instructions we've got a bunch of standoffs here and we're also given a 90 degree SMA connector and there's also a whip antenna in there as well then we've got our JST connector for all of our wiring and that is silicon so pretty nice and I need to get this in a copter so that I can check it out so the copter that I plan on using is the XL Van X218S and I did a review of this and I said that it was good value for money and then instantly they put the price up. So that will teach me to talk about pricing in videos, won't it? Anyways, let's take a look at some of the onboard DVR footage. Now you'll see that this solution also records the on-screen display of the copter and some people might like that and others might not. 
And something that you can do with the standalone DVRs is put them between your camera and the flight controller, which means that you can skip the on-screen display being recorded onto the footage. And with this system, you can't do that because the DVR and the VTX is integrated. Now, the board has a 5 volt out, so you could connect the camera directly to the VTX, but then you won't get the on-screen display through your goggles either, so that's something to think about if you're looking at this system. Now, I picked this copter because it had a fairly low noise level. However, as the DVR is recording the output from the flight controller, it's also recording the video noise that is caused by the ESCs. And when I used the Runcam standalone DVR, it didn't record any of the noise. That being said, I don't think the noise level is any worse than the original VTX that was on this copter. And I think it could do with a capacitor on the battery connector to filter out some of that back EMF noise. I also think the camera sensor is loose with this model on reflection as there seems to be some buffeting in the image but that's nothing to do with the Speedy product of course. So the DVR is recording at 9 megabit which is fairly close to the Fat Shark's 13 megabit and it does actually record the audio from the microphone so I'll let you have a quick listen at that. Yeah, so it's a little bit distorted for my liking, and that could be down to the placement of the microphone. Perhaps it could do with some protection on there, but I don't use audio anyways, and of course that audio also comes through to the goggles, so if you find that sort of thing useful, then you know, this system has it. So the DVR splits a file every five minutes, and it loses around 400 milliseconds each time it does that, which is about the same as the standalone Runcam DVR. So make sure that if you plan on having your copter sat on the ground for some time, that you stop and start the recording using the button just before you arm. Otherwise, some of your flight footage might be cut off. And if you are flying for over five minutes, then there's no way to get around that. And there's no capacitors in this board either, so if you unplug your battery without pressing the stop button, then you will lose your footage, so watch out for that. As for the VTX part of this board, 25 milliwatt is closer to 10 milliwatt, and 600 milliwatt is only showing as 320 milliwatt or thereabout, according to the immersion power meter, so make of that what you will. And there you go, that is my take on the SpeedyB VTX and DVR combo. I will link it in the below, so as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.